on this episode of Mythbusters. Don't tell them which ones we have. Adam and Jamie outside their comfort zone in a footballing myth. That we would, you know, aspire to not be idiots. They head for a hangar and hurl Hail Marys. Bang! To see if hang time really is higher with helium. I love consistent data. <laughs> their chances of consistency. Oh, I love it. This is beautiful. These are all landing just where I want. With each kick on the same ballpark, the first test can begin. Air 13 PSI bungee cord. Ball number one. <laughs> Doesn't get better than that. Hit the 200 foot mark. OK, ready. Adam marks the landing spot of each ball. All 10 are right on the money. Or close enough, at least. <laughs> to get a suitable sample size, they shoot off a second set of 10 to Adam's satisfaction. Very, very happy with that. That bungee really evened everything out. There's still a couple of anomalies, but out of 10, I only had three. That's good enough for Mythbusters. <laughs> They fired 20 air-filled balls and measured the distance of each one. Now it's time to fill the balls with lighter-than-air helium. Oh! 13 pounds on the first try. Uh -huh. They fire off the first set of 10. Bang! And the exit pole's not looking good for helium. Off the top of my head, just looking at how things landed, it looks like the regulation ball filled to 13 PSI, regulation pressure, flies better than filling it with helium. Ten final helium balls finish off the experiment. Dead on the money with its predecessor. I love that. I like consistent data. I love consistent data. <laughs> when they're done, they've got 60 data points for analysis. But first impressions are that this myth is coming up short. Look, I mean, the myth is a helium-filled football will fly farther than an air-filled football. They don't mean by an inch or something. They don't mean by a foot. That's, there's, the myth is that there's a significant improvement. I think we could all assume that that improvement would be something where everyone would go, whoa, why did the ball fly that far? Wait, check it, hey, it's filled with helium kind of thing. We're not talking tiny little differences. What we're seeing is tiny little differences. So does the experiment back up Newtonian physics? Or have the Mythbusters blown a hole in the laws of science? Statistician Deborah Nolan concludes that the results are inconclusive. Well, unfortunately, the difference between helium and air filled balls is not statistically significant. So... That doesn't mean there isn't a difference, that, but I can't see the difference in the data that you've provided. But there is time for one final...